Hey guys, Chase with IDUB Hockey, hanging out with Jared from Warrior at the Stick Design office here in Chula Vista, California. Uh, we have your new line of Alpha One helmets in front of us. Um, before we start talking about the differences in tech on the inside, let's talk about the outside and the new One Piece show. Um, so what was kind of the inspiration behind it and what are the advantages of the One Piece versus Two Piece? Well, the inspiration comes from um, most other sports where there's a lot of high impact uh, needs that need to be taken into consideration and talking about football, lacrosse, uh, motorcycle riding, all of those helmets are uh, one piece so we wanted to transfer that over into our hockey line. Uh, traditionally in the past we've had uh, helmet, helmet shells that were multiple pieces but uh, the one piece is the new direction and the improved helmet line. And so compared to a two piece how does this maybe transfer energy different? Uh, I think what we find is with the rigid shell all one piece that the the shell takes up uh, or absorbs more of the shock uh, transfers around the helmet and uh, you know with less moving parts it makes it a lot easier for the transfer to be smooth okay and more protective and more protective correct so on the inside we're seeing all kinds of new technologies uh, namely in the high impact zone so that's the forehead this the temples and the back, back of the head, of the head. Um, so what's going on there uh, in the Alpha One helmet, we have uh, Viconic foam, which is used in the automotive industry uh, for impact absorption. That is in those four key areas that you talked about. And uh, along with that, closer in the inside of the helmet, uh, touching the head is the um, other type of foam, which is called Impacts, and that's uh, a dual layer that keeps uh, another layer of protection against impact. And that's what we typically find in those high impact zones on the Alpha One Pro, correct? Instead of the that Viconics right. foam? Yeah, so one of the things that happens with the Pro line uh, of this helmet is that the, the shell uh, out, outer perimeter gets a little bit smaller uh, and there's a little bit less foam on the inside, uh, but there's still quite a great deal of impact absorption and protection. Replacing the Viconic foam on the inside is a couple other high density foams, but you still have the uh, impacts foam in the inside lining of the spots where the head touches the helmet. And it seems like this is a big jump in protection from what we've seen in crown helmets in the past. Um, and it seems like you guys have kind of gone with a different research uh, methodology. Um, so maybe can you tell me a little bit of history of, of uh, you know, kind of how the crown helmets have evolved into the Alpha One? Yeah, well, one, of the, one of the biggest things is just making sure that these helmets are as protective as possible. Um, one of the ways to do that in the past was always to send the helmets out for independent testing to get results back to see how protective they are and if the changes that we're making to design is actually working. Uh, but we want to kind of streamline that process and uh, make it more efficient. So we, between the launch of the last helmet and this one, we've actually built an entire helmet testing lab internally uh, in our offices so that we can do the testing that gets done for uh, heck approval and all of, all of the tests that go on in-house, get them done quickly and mm -hmm. make sure that the designs that we're coming up with are giving us the results that we want. And we're seeing that, uh, that uh, investment coming to fruition in these Alpha Ones. Another big change this year is in the adjustment system. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that and how it differs between the Alpha One Pro and the Alpha One? Sure, so the new addition is the BOA system which uh, gives us a almost unbreakable uh, sporting goods proven uh, fastening system. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the BOA systems are in a lot of different products across sports. Um, and in the Alpha One, the system tightens the internal fitting areas in a 360 degree uh, space, so it goes it fits around your whole head. Mm -hmm. Um, in the Pro line, it's a 270 fit, so it's pulling from the sides and fitting from the back uh, against the front of the helmet. Uh, but both of these systems are a huge improvement over any uh, fitting systems in helmets, uh, ours in the past and I believe any of our competitors as well. Mm -hmm. Because especially compared to that traditional front to back, you're not adjusting the sides, and you're not getting that real nice occipital lock on the back of the head. Yeah, exactly. And, and with, the, with the shell staying the same size <clears throat> and the fitting system internally going to the, the proper size of your head, uh, you, you're getting the built-in another layer of uh, shock absorption 
uh, with the creating the pocket around and and uh, separating your head from the helmet. And lastly, I uh, can't forget about style out there. Um, we've got a, a, a new feature this year that's coming on the Alpha One, but uh, will be able to be used on this one. Tell me a little bit about that. So the Alpha One helmet comes with a, a set of team color stickers so that you can customize the color and the look of your helmet to fit your team, mm -hmm. um, whether you want to do that or you can not do that if you don't want to. Um, but the, the stickers go on the sides of the helmets and there's multiple different color options and like, yeah, it's just customized to your team. Uh, it's an accessory uh, ad additional purchase for the pro helmet, but uh, comes along with the Alpha One. Right on. Well, hey, thanks for having us down here and filling us in. Absolutely. And then for you at home, I want to check out more of these Warrior Alpha One helmets. Make sure you go to inline and icewarehouse.com.